Welcome aboard, everybody. Dr. Peter Glidden, your steadfast advocate for health. Thanks for joining me on this live. This is a live event, ladies and gentlemen. It doesn't get any more live than this. On YouTube, where tonight I'll be talking about uh, Longevity's ProLine uh, line of nutritional supplements. I am um, a paid sponsor of Longevity, uh, just so you know. Uh, first things first, for those of you who are new to this venue, I am a licensed naturopathic physician. The initials after my name are ND. I'm a graduate of Bastyr University of Naturopathic Medicine in Seattle. Graduated in 1991. My, oh my, how time flies. And here I am on the 22nd day of June, 1991, giving a speech at the graduation of uh, <clears throat> my naturopathic medical class. I think there were 31 of us back in the day. Uh, naturopathic medicine has come quite a long way. There are 24 states now that license and regulate naturopathic medicine at Massachusetts just became the latest state to license and regulate naturopathic medicine two weeks ago, this after 25 years of trying. Here's my license to practice naturopathic medicine. I'm a resident of the great state of Minnesota. And I've been practicing naturopathic medicine in clinical settings for 28 years now, 28 years and in 28 years of naturopathic uh, patient care, you learn a thing or two, you see a thing or two. And I'm a strong advocate of the Longevity Corporation and the Longevity, uh, Longevity's brand of nutritional supplements, which were developed uh, by my colleague and mentor, Dr. Joel Wallach. I think he's the second oldest uh, living naturopathic doctor in the world right now. And, you know, before I met Dr. Wallach and before I started leaning on his research and his therapeutics and his formulations for nutritional supplements, I got good results with my patients as a naturopath. It's kind of hard not to because as a naturopathic doctor, what you are doing is supporting the body's built-in God-given ability to fix itself, right? It's a wonderful profession. Got really good results before I met Doc, but since I've been mentoring with Dr. Wallach over the last seven years, since I've been following his lead, the things that I've seen people recover from, eclipse anything that I had previously seen. And there's a reason for this amount of excellence. There's a reason for this amount of success. And, you know, quite frankly, it's common sense because, I mean, look around. Every industry has superstars, right? Michael Jordan uh, in basketball. Uh, da Vinci in the world of art, of course. Our good friend, Albert Einstein. By the way, Albert Einstein walks into a bar and says... One Stein, Einstein for Einstein. <laughs> okay, it was a bad joke. But you get my point. In every area of human endeavor, there are people who are way better in that area than their contemporaries, right? There are people that stand out across the board. Well, in the wonderful world of naturopathic medicine, science-based, clinically verified naturopathic therapeutics, uh, Dr. Wallach is on a level that nobody else is on. Doc has been published over 72 times, over 72 times. He has the longest running health talk radio program in the world. And he was the author of this book, The Diseases of Exotic Animals, which, by the way, is in the Smithsonian <laughs> Institution. This book completely changed our understanding of the way that nutrition, vitamins, minerals, amino acids, essential fatty acids impact the health, not only of animals, but also of humans. This research, by the way, took 12 years. 
uh, from 1971 to 1983. It cost $25 million. That's in 1980 dollars. Uh, Doc did over 26,000 autopsies and 10 million blood chemistries and histopathologies. And it was this remarkable amount of old-fashioned boots on the ground. By the way, non-pharmaceutical influenced research, right? There was nobody in Big Pharma pulling the strings here and tweaking the results, only showing the favorable results and discarding the negative results. There was none of that shenanigans going on. This massive amount of pragmatic boots on the ground old-fashioned research completely altered the way that we understand how the body responds to nutrients and it's because of this research combined with 40 years now of clinical research that dr wallach has brought to the table <clears throat> that has made his therapeutics and his nutritional supplements some of the most, well, the most effective over-the-counter nutritional supplements that I've seen in 28 years of clinical work as a naturopathic doctor. And that's why I am such a cheerleader for longevity, Because it works better than anything I've seen, certainly anything that you can get over-the-counter. Uh, and, you know, this is an important point to ponder. This is an important thing to consider because we are in a mess culturally around the world. Our health isn't getting better. It's getting worse. Chronic disease is not getting better. It's getting worse. Life expectancy is not getting longer. It's getting shorter. And the reason for all of this, Durm und Strung, is because we don't have a free medical market. We haven't had a free medical market for nearly 100 years, and this guy saw it coming, Dr. Benjamin Rush, who put his life, his liberty, and his family fortune on the line so that the United States of America could be born, one of the signers of the Declaration of Independence. Dr. Benjamin Rush would be turning in his grave right now if he saw what was happening to medicine in the 21st century. Here's what Dr. Benjamin Rush said over 200 years ago, unless we put medical freedom into the Constitution, the time will come when medicine will organize itself into a dictatorship to restrict the art of healing to one class of men and deny equal privileges to other will constitute the Bastille of medical science. All such laws are un-American, 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 and despotic. They're un-Canadian, they're un-European Union. It's just not right. You, if you do not have a free medical market, you are at the mercy of whoever holds the monopoly. We wouldn't be okay in the United States if the government passed a law that said the only people that can sell gasoline in the United States is Exxon. Nobody else gets to sell gas. Wouldn't be okay with that. Wouldn't be okay in Canada if you said the only person that can sell coffee in Canada is Timmy Hortons. You wouldn't be okay with that. But that's exactly the situation that has existed with the delivery of medicine for nearly a hundred years. Now, the MDs have owned the show since the early 1900s. And I've done previous webinars on this. You can go to my website, glidden.healthcare, and you can watch a bunch of the stuff that I've produced, which gives you uh, an understanding of the historical evolution of medicine here in the United States. And by the way, that content also is free you can find it on the homepage of my website, glidden.healthcare. But to sum things up, look, the only medicine practiced in your hospital is MD medicine. The only medicine your insurance pays for is MD medicine. The only medicine Healthcare Canada, Health Canada pays for is MD-directed medicine. The only medicine that they make TV shows about is MD-directed medicine. The only medicine that universities do research on is MD-directed medicine. And whenever you hear about chiropractic medicine, naturopathic medicine, homeopathic medicine, acupuncture, traditional Chinese medicine, or the oldest system of medicine on planet Earth, Ayurveda, it's talked about in disparaging terms. Oh, those alternative doctors. Read back of the bus, not so good doctors. It's nonsense. But this has existed for such a long time that we have become culturally conditioned 
to believe that the MDs exclusively have a secret decoder ring to all things medical. And everybody else is a back-of-the-bus quack with substandard training, and it's nonsense. You're welcome to your own opinion, ladies and gentlemen, but you most certainly are not welcome to your own set of facts. While the MDs have been in exclusive control over the development and delivery and research of medicine, cancer. Don't even get me started. You saw the video that I produced, over 70 million views now, myth-busting the effectiveness of chemotherapy. Chemotherapy doesn't work, period. While the MDs have been in charge, even though they're raking in billions of dollars of profit every year, a cure for cancer is nowhere in sight. Heart disease, unchanged in frequency. After $25 billion a year of statin drugs, cholesterol-lowering medicine, just as many people get heart attacks and heart disease as they did before statin drugs, as they do now, <clears throat> the only difference is the MDs can keep people alive now after they've had one, two, or three, or four heart attacks, whereas in the past, one would kill you. But just as many people get heart disease now as they have done, as they ever have. Obesity is... Unbelievable here in the United States. Over a third of the adult population, over a third of the childhood population. This is so epidemic now that people just are starting to think it's normal. And they're having television shows with people who are 300 pounds as the stars. And, you know, it's supposed to be, oh, a genetic abnormality. And it's just a normal thing because we can't cure it. We might as well just accept it as normal. It's nonsense. Obesity is an illness, and the medical doctors have no idea what causes it, and they are the wrong dog for that hunt to try to cure it. Autism used to be one in 10,000 births. Now it's one in 60. Thank you, bus driver MD, arthritis, type 2 diabetes. Chronic illnesses are getting worse, not better, and it's because the medical doctors are trained in a methodology which is old-fashioned, outdated, and inconsistent with the reality of the human experience. The reason that you're sick is because you have an MD. Now, your medical doctor may be the nicest person that God ever created, but they don't know what's best for you. They only know what they've been trained in, and what they've been trained in is just one piece of the pie of medical science. But the monopolization of the medical marketplace, driven by the pharmaceutical industry, has led you to believe that they're the only dog for the hunt, the only show in town. So even when they fail us, even when they harm us, oh yes, even when they bankrupt us, leading cause of bankruptcy in the United States, medical bills, and even when they kill us, leading cause of death in the United States, MD-directed medical therapeutics, we give them a pass. This is how deep the socialization has gone, and the government is helping this process, this monopoly. They're not hurting it, according to the Food and Drug Administration. You're sitting down. I want you to put something heavy on your head because it's about to explode. According to the Food and Drug Administration, in the United States, the only thing that can treat a disease is a drug. The only thing that can treat a disease is a drug. This is why <clears throat> people who sell nutritional supplements cannot talk about nutritional supplements in relationship to a disease state. This also levied by the Federal Trade Commission. So once you start selling something in the public marketplace, your freedom of speech goes away, especially when it comes to medicine. So even if in a private practice as a licensed naturopathic physician, so in a state in which I'm licensed and regulated to practice naturopathic medicine and a patient comes into my office, I can unequivocally tell them that supplement A, supplement B, and supplement C are my treatments of choice for their specific disease. But when we're talking to the general public and I'm selling a nutritional supplement or anybody is selling a nutritional supplement, you can't not, you cannot relate the sale of the nutritional supplement to a disease. You cannot do it. It is against the law. And this is why the pharmaceutical industry and the MDs remain at the top of, of the heap because they have legislated themselves there and they have protected themselves with onerous laws which make competition impossible. You can't compete 
with Big Farm, you can't do it. And with laws like this in place, we are doomed. And this is why our health is getting worse, not better. Because there's a medical monopoly that's existed for almost 100 years. It's been in place before most people were even born. Most people are completely unaware of these facts. And they'd look around and they say, well, son of a gun, the only medicine practiced in my hospital is MD medicine. The only medicine my insurance pays for is MD medicine. So they must be the best at what they do. But that's not so. It's common sense to think like that. But when you factor in the unfree medical marketplace, everything becomes quite clear. If you're struggling with a chronic illness, ladies and gentlemen, you don't have a bad gene, you have a bad doctor. Or you have a doctor trained in this one particular methodology. And you know, what the MDs are trained in is good for surgery, really good for surgery when surgery is necessary. The stuff they can do with surgery now is unbelievably awesome and trauma care handful of infectious diseases. Antibiotics, however, are starting to fail us, right? And now antibiotic-resistant diseases are going to create the next zombie apocalypse. Oh, my God. So the information that the naturopathic community, that the holistic medical community brings to the table is extremely important, extremely important. And in the context of tonight's lecture, because of the FDA and the FTC, I must couch my terms inside of structure and function language. So we're not going to talk about these supplements as they relate to the treatment of a disease the way that I would in a private practice. Because that's against the law. Imagine that. So we're going to talk about these nutritional supplements as they relate to supporting and promoting the built-in God-given ability of the body to fix itself. And this is the fundamental difference, by the way, between how the MDs are taught and how the holistic doctors like naturopaths, chiropractors, homeopaths, etc. are taught. MDs are trained in reductionism, which argues the body is a machine uh, made of parts, and when it breaks, it's not the doctor's job to fix it. It's the doctor's job to manage it. I mean, Think it through. Your medical doctor doesn't even know how to cure heartburn. They can manage it with the little purple pill, but they can't cure it. And to the profession that doesn't even know how to cure heartburn, we've given trillion, a trillion dollars, a thousand billion dollars to come up with a cure for cancer. Gee, I wonder why that has failed. It's because they're the wrong dog for the hunt. Holistic physicians, on the other hand, say, look, the human body is inhabited by a spiritual force, a vital force. The human body has intelligence. The human body knows how to fix itself. The human body wants to fix itself. And it is the holistic physician's sacred duty to support and promote the body's built-in, God-given ability to fix itself. If you're an atheist, I cannot help you. So, in order to support and promote the body's built-in God-given ability to manage its affairs, let's talk about what to do. Are you with me? Now, the Longevity Company has a number of different supplements. We're going to talk about their foundation supplements at the very end of this presentation, but they also have an exclusive line of professional ProLine supplements. It's called the ProLine because the quantities of vitamins and the formulas which are have been put together inside of these products is not this is not a normal over-the-counter formulation. You know this is this these formulations mimic what nature the the uh, amounts and the the uh, uh, number of ingredients that Naturopathic doctors have access to nutraceutical stuff, right? This is really the, the tip of the spear, in, in, as far as I'm concerned, of science-based clinically verified medical nutrition. You should pay attention to this because this stuff is awesome. So let's take it from the top, shall we? All right, so first thing to talk about is a product called Immortalium. Immortalium, you can guess what this is intended to do. It is an anti-aging 
supplement. It helps the body resist the aging process. And this is an interesting thing to talk about. Did you know that the human body has the genetic potential to make it to 120 years? Did you know that? Every time the cells in your body divide, they lose a little bit of genetic information. It's like making a copy of a copy of a copy. You can only do that so many times until you can't read it anymore, right? Well, the same thing happens with your genes. Every time the cells in your body reproduce, they get a little weaker and a little weaker and a little weaker. And that process can only play itself out without any outside intervention for 120 years. So you have the genetic potential to live to 120 years. How's that working for you? Have you optimized that? No. Most people in the United States were like 47th or something in the world for longevity. United States of America, 47. Probably worse than that by now. The CIA keeps that record. Do to go to CIA.com and check in uh, uh, longevity by nation. So we eat the wrong food all the time. And the body is starved for nutrients. And if you didn't change the oil in your car or your car ran out of oil or transmission fluid or radiator fluid or power steering fluid, the car wouldn't work right, would it? Same holds true with the human body. Now, thank God for naturopathic medicine. Thank God for medical nutrition. Because the intention of naturopathic therapeutics, the intention of medical nutrition is to give your body the stuff it needs to optimize its structure and function. You know, we doubled human life expectancy, doubled it in the last hundred years by cleaning up the water supply, having public sanitation, and having the government assist farmers to make food so that there would always be food available for people. Doing those two things doubled life expectancy. The pharmaceutical industry will tell you that it was antibiotics that did that, but that's not true. That is not correct. We doubled life expectancy by teaching people to not pee upstream and drink downstream. Imagine that. Simple thing, doubled life expectancy. Well, you want to take it to the next level? How about feeding your body the nutrients that it needs to work the way that God and nature intended it to? That's exactly what this proline is all about. So we've got you know, the full complement of vitamins, vitamin A, vitamin C, you can read the list. But the magic in this supplement comes here. See this thing over here? It's called the Telomere Support Blend. Telomere Support Blend. Let's talk about that right now. Here's a picture of <clears throat> a chromosome. Your genetic material is made out of 23 pairs of chromosomes. <clears throat> and you see the chromosome is shaped like an X. And at the very end of the chromosome, right here and here and here and here, this part of the chromosome is called the telomere, the telomere. And every time the chromosome, every time your body uh, uh, replicates a cell or some part of the body, the telomeres shrink. They get a little shorter and a little shorter and a little shorter and a little shorter. And then you can't do the cell division anymore. And that's one of the leading causes of aging. So the telomere support blend that Longevity came up with, telomere support blend, you can see it right here. The intention of this is to make that process, to slow that process down. And it's been proven to do that in animals. Hasn't been proven to do this in humans. Hasn't been proven to do it in humans. And one of the reasons why it hasn't been proven to do it in humans is because they, nobody funds this type of research. Nobody's doing this. They'll spend $60 million to bring a new drug to market. But who funds research like this? You cannot. This is not an equal playing field. And so you go to WebMD, which is one of the worst websites in the world, by the way. Oh, you know, the, the, these products have, these herbs and these vitamins have not been proven to have any beneficial effect on human health. Well, the reason that it hasn't been proven with double-blinded clinical trials is because nobody's doing the double-blinded clinical trials because nobody can afford to do it. You give me a billion dollars, you find some rich Saudi prince 
wants to really make a change in the world? 10 years. With a well-funded, holistic, scientific research society, we will change the world. Because as God is my witness, you, you would not believe the things I've seen people recover from in my naturopathic practice. You would not believe it. This is not some magic panacea cure-all for all human ills. But in the same way that we doubled life expectancy, just by cleaning up the water, for goodness sakes, when you start to nutrify the body correctly, with science-based, clinically verified stuff, sky's the limit, baby. So in any event, the telomere support blend is intended to support and promote the body's natural ability to have healthy chromosomes, which beats a poke in the eye with a sharp stick. There's also a lot of other good stuff here. Transresveratrol, it's the stuff that's found in red wine. It, it's an antioxidant. Um, more antioxidants here. Remember, antioxidants are measured by their ORAC score. I'll tell you about antioxidants in a minute. And this stuff, fucoidin, is um, a derivative of a sea vegetable. And go to PubMed.com, which is the public database for medical research. PubMed.com. Type in fucoidin and look at the references that come up. Thousands of published studies about the positive effects of this supplement fucoidin on many different aspects of human health. It's a wonderful product. Really, really great. Now, moving down the list, this stuff, SOD, stands for superoxide dismutase. And you'll have to forgive me. I had a little slide that was uh, I'd prepared to make you understand this a little bit better, but it, be it became corrupted and I couldn't use it. So I'm going to have to talk you through this, okay? So one of the things that causes aging in the body is free radical damage to the cells of the body. Now, free radicals are formed by different metabolic processes in the body. It's just a normal function of getting stuff done in the body. The body farms, forms these harmful um, uh, substances called free radicals. They're also in the food that you eat and the stuff that you drink. They're also in you know, pollution that, you know, you breathe in or the crap in the air, the crap in the food, the crap in the water, right, gets into your body and it causes, it's filled with free radicals and free radicals in the body cause tissue damage and destruction. They cause inflammation and tissue damage and destruction. In the same way that oxygen uh, turns uh, 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 iron to rust, right, free radicals in the body turn healthy cells into dust. It, it's bad news. One of the leading forms or causes for uh, cellular degradation and death and decay is free radical damage in the body. So interestingly enough, one of the biggest, baddest, voodoo daddiest free radicals in the body is an oxygen atom. Uh, oxygen? Uh, what? Yeah, oxygen that has gained an electron. Now, when oxygen gains an electron, it becomes, it turns itself into something that scientists have named a superoxide. And a superoxide is like metabolic Velcro. It'll stick to anything, man. And when superoxide sticks to something, that something becomes oxidized and dies. It's bad. It's not good. So, because the body has wisdom, because the body is inhabited by a very sophisticated uh, spiritual force, whatever it was that enters the body at the moment of conception and leaves the body at the moment of death is running the show. Well, the body has wisdom. It's figured this out. So the body has a naturally occurring fire department inside the human body, which has antioxidant activity antioxidant, right? The body is neutralizing these free radical destroyers all the time. Everybody knows the body has a fire, uh, uh, police department. That's the immune system. Well, guess what? The body also has a fire department that puts out the fires of inflammation. Isn't that interesting? It does that through antioxidant activity. And superoxide dismutase 
is one of the strongest antioxidants naturally occurring in the body. So SOD in this particular product is a superoxide dismutase that has been formulated to make it through the digestive acid in the stomach and actually get into the bloodstream where it supports the fire department, right? It's like bringing reinforcements to the fire department. Big fire, we need more firefighters. You know, call the next town. We need a couple more engines. Well, swallow your superoxide dismutase. It's going to support the body's built-in fire department. That is exactly what it does. So superoxide dismutase turns the superoxide oxygen radical voodoo daddy into oxygen and hydrogen peroxide. Hydrogen peroxide is still kind of a nasty little free radical itself, but then there's another part of the fire department called glutathione, which turns the hydrogen peroxide into oxygen uh, and water. And the body has a remarkable system of checks and balances here where it transforms this nasty, destructive stuff into harmless stuff. But the fire department needs support to do that. For goodness sakes, that's what this stuff does. Okay? That's the intention of all of the things in this formula. Now, I could give an hour-long lecture on each of these products. We don't have the time for that. I'm just trying to give you the snapshot, the cliff notes, right? So, any product which attempts to slow down the aging process should attempt to slow down telomere degradation and increase the body's fire department, the body's antioxidant ability. And this product does it, in my opinion, in spades. It's an awesome product. And, you know, the, the, honest to God, the, the only reason my profession exists in such a hostile political climate, are you kidding me? It took 25 years for the great state of Massachusetts to get their head out of their you-know-what to license naturopathic medicine. Should have happened in six months. It took 25 years. Why? Because it's a hostile medical climate. The boys at the top don't want competition. They don't want the chiropractors. They don't want anybody else. They don't want the naturopaths. The only reason that my profession exists and grows is because it works. So... I want you to believe me, because I'm not lying. But really, you know, the proof of the pudding's in the eating. So give this stuff a run for its money, and you tell me how you feel. Make sense? Does to me. <laughs> Next supplement to talk about, there are two. One for men, one for women. A Zera test is for men. The test here alluding to testosterone and Zera Femme for women, these provide support for the hormonal system in your body. Now, if I was an, a mad evil scientist, like one of those James Bond villains, and I wanted to wreak havoc on society, one way that I would do it is, you know, I'd introduce something into the air or into the water that messed with people's hormones. Because the hormones in your body affect everything all of the time. The hormones in your body affect everything all the time. You don't just have sex hormones. That's what everybody's talking about now, right? But you've got all kinds of hormones that regulate practically every single thing going on in the human body. In order to have those wheels greased, there are some things that need to be present. And again, this isn't rocket science, is it? Your car needs air in the tires transmission fluid, water in the radiator, oil in the crankcase, power steering fluid, right? It needs to have all this stuff. If it doesn't have any of this stuff, it ain't going to be good. And it needs to have good fuel in the tank. Well, this is no different with the human body. But your medical doctor doesn't know this or doesn't believe it, doesn't give a good you-know-what about it because it's not their thing. Talking to a medical doctor about science-based, clinically verified medical nutrition, the therapeutic use of vitamins, minerals, amino acids, or herbs, 
is like talking to a Buddhist about Jesus Christ. It, it's a, it's a, it's a ridiculous, it's a dead end. Again, your medical doctor may be the nicest person that God ever created, but they don't know what's best for you. They only know what they've been trained in, and they don't know jack about this stuff, and they need to. They're never going to learn it, so it's up to us to help you understand it. My people are destroyed by lack of knowledge. Well, guess what? There's a new sheriff in town, and we're going to put an end to all that nonsense. So, these two supplements, Zeratest and Zerafem, male and female hormonal support, have a number of things in common. Nice complement of vitamins. <clears throat> but the real magic here, the real magic is in this stuff. Immortalium. Remember the previous product, right? There was a, a blend of stuff called the uh, Immortalium Youth Complex, which dramatically increases, or the, the intention is to dramatically increase the antioxidant ability of the body. That's in here. One piece of that little pie is in here. You've got the, fucoid, the fucoidin, again, and which has been published. There have been over 2,000 published studies on the positive benefits of fucoidin. Superoxide dismutase, imagine that. The telomere support blend. So you're getting a little bit of the stuff that's in the immortalium, a little bit of that. And you're also getting a whole bunch of concentrated foods. Acai berry, acerola berry, um, blueberry, broccoli, carrot, cauliflower, tomato, spirulina, spinach, right? Concentrated stuff with phytonutrients from all of these plants, all of these fruits going into the body to support and promote the body's ability to fix itself, beats a poke in the eye with a sharp stick, if you ask me. That's what those supplements have in common. Here's where they're different. The Zara test has this stuff, and this is for male hormone support, okay? It's got fenugreek, fenugreek, which any cook will has on their in their herb herb cabinet fenugreek it's an herb that cooks use all the time fenugreek is very effective at supporting uh the male sex hormone life cycle uh as are a number of herbs tribulus terrestris tribulus terrestris say that 10 times fast uh, turmeric a ginseng i just did a 45 minute webinar on ginseng it's in the archives on my website. Garlic extract, rhodiola, rosea extract. This was made famous by Russian research, uh, putting people in extremely stressful situations, giving them rosiola, and they handled it like a breeze. And vinitrox. This is grape and apple extracts supplying a type of biochemical called a polyphenol, the intention of which is to help your body's hormones do their job. Now, if you were to look at a spreadsheet of the sex hormone array in the human body, it is unbelievably complicated. It's this, this pathway, this one molecule goes to this and goes to here and goes to here and it's counter indicated here and it's supported here and it's, it's this giant complicated thing. So, the MDs attempt to dissect biochemical pathways and find a leverage point inside of a biochemical pathway and then develop a man-made synthetic drug, the intention of which is to tip that scale in the pathway right there. But when you act like that with this unbelievably sophisticated complex of the human body, you're going to create unintended consequences, which is why every drug in the world is loaded with side effects. And which is why nutritional supplements are not. Because nutritional supplements do not attempt a hostile takeover of the metabolism of the human body. That's what drugs do. And by the way, don't get me wrong, I can prescribe drugs. 
Did you know that? Naturopathic doctors can prescribe drugs. So how about that? Did your head just explode? It's not the drug. It's how it's used. Thank God for Novocaine. But instead of trying to force the body in a way that a scientist thinks it should go, we say no, 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 no. A bad dog, no biscuit. Instead, let's just support the body in what it's attempting to do anyway because the body's way smarter than we are. And that, in a nutshell, is the reason for all of this stuff and all of these formulations. You don't need to know biochemistry. You just need to know that there are very smart people who are attempting to put together formulations that help the body do what God and nature intended it to do in the first place. The Zerafem has this. This is the main mover and shaker in the Zerafem. It's called Maca. It is an herbal medicine which has remarkable positive effects on normalizing female hormone levels. And, you know, the problem is if you eat too much of this food and don't have enough of this nutrient, then you're going to have too much estrogen or too much progesterone or your balance is going to be off, right? That's why you'll see little boys who grow breasts. It's because their parents are vegetarians and they're feeding them soy for breakfast, soy for lunch, and soy for dinner. And soy increases estrogen production in the human body. So these little boys turn into little girls almost. It's not because they have a bad gene. It's because they're eating the wrong food all the time and it's forcing the metabolism of the body in, in a bad way. Well, rather than force it, how about we support it? That's what MACA does. I became aware of MACA over 15 years ago. And, you know, I'm finally, if somebody steps up to the plate and makes a nutritional supplement that has it in it. So this is the main driver here, in my humble opinion. Good supplements in order to support and promote healthy hormonal activity in the human body. Okay? Okay. Next. Synaptive. This is Mary Lou Henner's uh, favorite longevity product. Mary Lou Henner is a, another hired paid spokeswoman for longevity. And Mary Lou Henner, of course, is famous for her you know, remarkable memory, right? So the synaptive was formulated with the intention of supporting and promoting healthy brain function and healthy memory. Think about that, pun intended. <laughs> How does it do that? Well, you know, I thought you'd never ask. It does it through a number of different ways. Nice complex of vitamins here um, and uh, the essential oil Melissa officinalis. Uh, oh, Melissa officinalis, which is, which is lemon balm extract. I don't know any other nutritional supplement company that puts that into their nutritional supplements. Every nutritional supplement company should because um, essential oils are extremely effective in upregulating certain parts of human biochemistry. Again, it has the antioxidant blend, but the, the big deal with this product is right here, the Synaptive Complex. It's made out of uh, a couple of herbs, ginkgo biloba, ginkgo biloba, uh, vinca minor, uh, 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 vitamin E complexes, E like Edward, and phosphatidylcholine, phosphatidyl inositol, glutamine, and phosphatidylethanolamine. Do I seem smart to you? Yes, that's right. Phosphatidylethanolamine. You know, you don't need to know what that is, but all you need to know is it supports healthy brain activity. Did you know that over 75% of your brain and nerves are made from cholesterol? Did you know that? Guess what happens when you take a cholesterol-lowering statin drug for years? Your brain dries up. Get Alzheimer's disease. If you look at a chart of the incidence of Alzheimer's disease and the introduction of statin drugs to the medical marketplace, they parallel each other almost exactly. 
guess what? Did you know that all of your sex hormones are also made from cholesterol? That's what they're made from, cholesterol. So when you dry up your cholesterol by taking statin drugs, no more sex hormones. So if you're a man, you can't get an erection. Your sex drive goes out the window. If you're a woman, you got hot flushes for five years instead of for two months like your mother or your grandmother did. So flush your statin drugs down the toilet is my advice. And don't do that. It'll go into the public water system. Just throw them into the garbage or burn them, better yet. Get a burn pile and burn them. Don't worry about cholesterol and, you know, give your body brain support. Is that a good idea? Well, I think that's a good idea. Mary Lou Henner thinks that's a good idea. And again, look, proof of the pudding's in the eating. You don't need to be a biochemist. You don't need to understand the intricate biology that's going on here, the biochemistry that's going on here. You just need to know that this is the intention of these form these uh, well-formulated products. You don't, you don't need to, f to figure out, you know, which gasoline is the best for your car, right? Do you like take a weekend course at the local community college and in petrochemicals and, and really understand the difference between Shell's brand of engine oil and Mobil's brand of engine oil and Exxon's brand of uh, blend, uh, brand of gasoline? Do, do you, do you, does, do, you, does, do you care? No. You trust that people smarter than you are doing this. And then you put it in your car and you see which one works best. It's the same here. Next on the list, the Ultimate Daily Classic. We use this for circulation support. So in any instance where you would benefit from increased circulation, anywhere in the human body, anywhere in the human body, this would be a product to take out for a ride. Uh, the big deal with this is this stuff over here below the black line. L-cysteine, methionine, PABA, paraminobenzoic acid, all this stuff here, especially the herbs, ginkgo, bilberry, and hawthorn. Ginkgo, bilberry, and hawthorn. These are the main players here in supporting and promoting a healthy um, circulation in the human body. And you know, also, please understand that all this other stuff is there for a reason as well. You know, it's kind of like if you're making bread, but you leave out the yeast, got everything else, you leave out the yeast, eh, it's not going to be so good, right? Leave out the egg, not going to be so good, right? So when it comes to the formulation of a nutritional supplement, the whole recipe matters. And it took years of trial and error and adding this and taking that away to kind of just tweak it and get it right, right? Okay, but this stuff down here, um, the ginkgo leaf, uh, L-carnitine, bilberry fruit, CoQ10, and hawthorn berry are the, the, the major players in this particular formulation. Next on the list, I have to see what's next. <laughs> Occutiv. Guess what that's for? Oh, eye health. Imagine that. Yes, that's correct, Sherlock. Occutive is for eye health. This has some really cool stuff in it, by the way. Um, cutting edge research, as far as I'm concerned. Um, let me see if I can find it here for you. Bilberry. Bilberry um, has been proven to have a beneficial effect in night blindness. Uh, grapeseed extract and, you know, everything else. But the main players here are down here. Lutein, lycopene, zeaxanthin, and astaxanthin. Now, astaxanthin has been characterized as the most potent uh, antioxidant in the world. And it all goes back to inflammation and helping the body's fire department, right? So um, astaxanthin is a very high-powered antioxidant that helps the fire department of your body to do a really, really good job, very efficiently. Um, zeaxanthin and lutein 
have been proven in clinical studies, imagine that, to be helpful in cataracts, to help slow down the progression of cataracts, and also to help reverse macular degeneration. Now remember, in the context of this webinar, we're not treating disease. So I'm not telling you to take this stuff for those diseases, because that's against the law. I am telling you, however, to take this stuff to support and promote your body's ability to have healthy eyes. <laughs> and see for yourself how it works. Last on the list is glucogenics. Now, in 1958, I think, uh, there was a doctor named Mers, a medical doctor, who was able to turn uh, type 2 diabetes on and off in laboratory mice by withholding or giving nutrients. He'd withhold the nutrients, the mice would get type 2 diabetes, he'd give the nutrients, it would go away. So we've known for a long time that in order to optimize the structure and function of blood sugar metabolism in the human body, there are very specific nutrients that need to be present. And guess what this product does? It provides them all. It also has some really cool herbs in it. A Jim Nema, Silvestri, Leaf, Bitter Melon, a Jambo Lan, and Vanadian. And this one up here, um, a banaba leaf. This is not from the banana tree. Everybody thinks it's from the banana tree. It's not. It's a separate and distinct uh, plant. It's called banaba. And this is one of the rising stars uh, currently in the 21st century in uh, blood sugar optimization. I, my hat really goes off to the people that formulate this stuff because they are keeping their fingers on the pulse of the most current research and giving you access to it to, you know, slam the doors and kick the tires and see for yourself whether or not you get traction. So, now, that's the pro line, cliff notes, okay? My recommendation, uh, choose one of the products, one of the products, and take it every day for 90 days, three months. On the bottle, get one bottle, divide the number of capsules, uh, in the bottle by the number of days in the month and take that many capsules a day for 90 days and then look to see whether or not your memory is better, whether or not your circulation is better, whether or not your uh, uh, vision is better, whatever. Okay, it, proof of the pudding is in the eating and we must not neglect the foundation here because $25 million of federally funded research, uh, all those autopsies and blood chemistries and histopathologies, has taught us one thing, and the world owes Dr. Wallach an extreme debt of gratitude for bringing this information to the public. In order for your body to work the way that nature intended it to, there, it needs to have 60 minerals, 16 vitamins, 12 amino acids, and two essential fatty acids in it every day. An essential nutrient is called essential because your body needs it, but it can not make it. Needs it, can't make it. Has to go down the hatch every day. There are 90 of them, which is why Longevity has coined the phrase 90 for life. The lion's share of these nutrients, right, are minerals. 60 of 90, that's two-thirds Mineral supplementation is kind of a big deal. And, you know, according to Darth Vader, I find your lack of minerals disturbing. <laughs> supplementation is a big deal. You need to not pee upstream and drink downstream, right? You also need to take the 90 essential nutrients into your body every day. Because here's the deal. If this tank represents your body's nutrient needs in order for you to function optimally, live the longest that you possibly can and as much health as you possibly can, this tank needs to be topped off every day with the 90 essential nutrients. Topped off every day, but nobody knows this. Your medical doctor doesn't know it. The food that you're eating doesn't have all 90 nutrients in it. And so for most people just going about their business, their nutritional tank is less than half full. And then they experience the stress of life. You know, life is a great big bowl of stress, right? Aging, crap in the air, crap in the water, crap in the food, financial stress, political stress. 
weather, germs, viruses, lions and tigers and bears. Stress of life whittles away at your reserves. Now you're running on empty. Then guess what happens? Something breaks. So you become obese, not because you have a bad gene, but because your body ran out of nutrients. You develop cancer, not because you have a breast or a prostate or a colon, but because your body ran out of the stuff it needed to keep itself healthy. You develop type 2 diabetes because you ran out of certain nutrients. You develop arthritis because your bones and ligaments and tendons ran out of the stuff they needed to keep themselves healthy. You got high blood pressure because your body ran out of the nutrients it needed to maintain normal blood pressure. And these things are not genetic. They're not genetic. I don't care what Dr. Oz says. He's wrong. By the way, I have a CT scan of Dr. Oz's brain. Here it is. Uh, all right. It's Homer Simpson's brain. It's not Dr. Oz's. But my point is, Dr. Oz is a medical doctor, and medical doctors have no training in what I've just t told you. No training. And they have no business telling you about it. No business. You wouldn't go to a chiropractor and expect them to tell you about open heart surgery, would you? Well, why would you go to a heart surgeon for advice about nutrients? It's a bad idea. And yet that's what we do. Because we just don't know any better. Let's talk about obesity. This is the secret to uh, obesity that not even Oprah knows, right? Uh, you gain weight because the, of the wisdom of your body. Uh, your body knows that it's running on nutrient fumes. Your body knows that if it continues to run on nutrient fumes, something is going to break. So your body forces you to eat. But the food that you're eating doesn't fill up the nutritional tank. And so you go to Olive Garden, you pig out on 3,000 calories because you have to. And you come home and two hours later, you're hungry again. And then your medical doctor tells you you're depressed or you're psycho or your stomach's too big. Let's cut the stomach out. That's the idea. Let's cut the stomach out. Interestingly enough, exactly the same thing happens in animals. It's called cribbing. When an animal becomes nutritionally deficient, it starts eating anything it can. It can. A horse or a cow or a pig, or a, uh, they'll eat wood, they'll eat rocks, they'll eat dirt. They can't stop eating because their body's driving them to eat because it's nutritionally deficient and it knows it. So what do you need to do in order to stop the madness? Fill your nutritional tank up, man. It's not rocket science. Just give your body the stuff it needs. For goodness sakes. And Longevity has this handled better than any nutritional supplement company I've seen. So they have a number of healthy packs. And the healthy packs provide your body with the 90 essential nutrients that it needs to work the way that God intended it to. This product right here is called the Healthy Body Start Pack 2.0. It's got all 90 essential nutrients in it. Well, that's pretty good. So my advice, take the 90 essential nutrients and then add to it something in the pro line. Do that for 90 days and see how you feel. And fire your medical doctor, by the way, because they've got nothing for you when it comes to chronic disease. Nothing for you at all. Fire your medical doctor. Educate yourself about the simple steps you can take to support and promote your body's ability to fix itself, for goodness sakes, and live long and prosper. By the way, this lecture is free. If you like this information, I give lots of free information on this channel all the time. Please subscribe to this YouTube channel. Subscribe to this YouTube channel right now. Just click on the subscribe button. Subscribe to this channel so you can stay in step with me as I help you understand what to do. My uh, Facebook page is also Glidden.Healthcare and my website, Glidden.Healthcare. Imagine that. Pretty easy, right? It's not .com, it's .healthcare. I was one of the first organizations in the world to have that URL, .healthcare. Pretty cool. On my website, I have a self-help health recovery program that you can subscribe to. And as a subscriber to my self-help health recovery program, you will learn things about what to do very specifically to give your body a fighting chance to get on the other side of chronic health conditions. Go to my website, check it out, become a subscriber.
Remember, knowledge is power, right? And educate yourself about what to do that your medical doctor is clueless about in order to give your body a fighting chance. Until we meet again, ladies and gentlemen, I remain your steadfast advocate for health. Thanks so much for hanging out with me for the last hour or so. Uh, I appreciate it more than you will know. Until we meet again, live long and prosper. I hope to see you around campus. Dr. Glidden, out.